Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So we have a little bit of a ruckus taking place in Congress, and that's uh, that's, that's due to Nancy Mace and her ass kickery. There is a um, a Congresswoman, it's a trans Congresswoman named uh, Sarah McBride. That's the name they go by. Anyways, the 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 ruckus is about Nancy Mace passing a law that says that uh, no trans individuals are going to use women's bathrooms. If you have a penis, if your biological sex is male, then you you stay out of women's spaces. That's the ruckus. That's the that's the, the 411. That's the DL or whatever the kids say nowadays. But as a result of that, we have a a trans woman, a dude. Um well, they they've asked their followers to assassinate JK Rowling and Nancy Mace. In a shocking call to arms, a lot of the times, the um, the stochastic terrorism or the um, you know the the veil threats or whatever, it's uh, it's wordplay. They're sort of dancing around it. It's kind of hyperbole or it's kind of you know it's whatever, right? Some level of plausibility, but this trans individual goes uh, goes goes all out. A transgender woman has made a chilling call to violence, explicitly threatening to assassinate prominent figures, including author J.K. Rowling and Representative Nancy Mace, the Instagram user who goes by by the name Venus Penis. Venus Penis. I mean, I guess part marks for creativity. Uh, made graphic and detailed threats of murder in a disturbing video rant targeting the Harry Potter author and Republican Congresswoman. Let's take a look at some of this video here. It is 30 seconds. We'll, we'll see what this individual has to say in it. This video goes out to Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Congresswoman Nancy Mace, I hope that one day I do find you in that woman's bathroom and I grab your ratty looking fucking hair and drag your face down to the floor while I repeatedly bash it in until the blood's everywhere and you're dead. <laughs> Thank you. I hope um, that Nancy Mace receives this message well. Kisses. Absolutely psychotic and unhinged. Incredibly violent. What a deranged individual that is. So this person also says, I condone murder. I think we need to hold our politicians accountable by murdering them, he said in a series of shocking statements. So I wonder, because we had that video, I wonder if there's another video or if, if that was just a snippet. The user also targeted J.K. Rowling, asking why is J.K. Rowling still alive and calling for her to burn at the stake and die. We should be focusing our efforts and our resources not on assassinating Trump, but on assassinating J.K. Rowling. Fuck that whore needs to die. She needs to burn on the stake and die, they said in their since-deleted Instagram story. All of this, of course, is, is despicable. And we obviously condemn it completely and fully, just in case YouTube gets any fancy ideas. The stuff that's being said is awful, and we're covering it because it's newsworthy. I think we should just all come together and murder everyone, they added. I think things would be better. Now, this, of course, is from the side of love, right? The party of love, the party of joy, the party of, of what, compassion? Uh, what's, what's the other nonsense they talk about? They're, 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 they're the party of all of the good things. Well, so far, they're the party of everything that's bad. I mean, a lot of them are. I don't know, too intellectually dim-witted, intellectually dull, too stupid to understand the irony in everything that they say. They're not the party of anything good. In fact, this is the party of bad. That's why you have people like Tulsi Gabbard or RFK Jr. or Elon Musk leaving that side and coming over to the side of actual joy. The side of actually improving people's lives. The side of getting everything back on track so everyone can succeed. This is a, a terrible side 
I mean, if we're honest, this is the side that, that shoots up the schools. Addressing Congresswoman Nancy Mace, the user threatened to find her in the woman's bathroom and bash her head in until she's dead. This is the video that we saw. I hope that one day I do find you in that woman's bathroom and I grab you by your ratty looking fucking hair and drag your face down to the floor while I repeatedly bash it until the blood's everywhere and you're dead. And then oh, here's, here's another one that says prepare to die at Rep Nancy Mace. This is absolutely psychotic. Now, you might think, are they psychotic because they're leftists? Are they psychotic because they're trans? Maybe it's both. Maybe it's one, maybe it's both, but like we don't we don't have this kind of thing on our side so much. I mean, I'm sure it's there on the fringes or or whatever. But on the left, this is the this is the mainstream. A, a lot of the left has left Twitter or X, gone over to the their new platform Blue Sky and it's just absolute insanity. It's them spurging out. It's the, it's their safe space. So they're spurging out the most vile things possible. They really are. It's the side of violence and debauchery. It's horrible, these people. This comes after the Republican introduced a resolution that would ban transgender woman, women from uh, using uh, female bathrooms in the Capitol just weeks before Democratic... Um, Rep. Elect Sarah McBride of Delaware is set to become the first trans member elected to Congress. Congresswoman was tagged in the video and reposted it to her story with a caption: "This is exactly the type of man I don't want in the woman's restroom with me." What are you so afraid of? Says the side tagging me in the videos like this. She added in the caption, and Clarence Thomas. I have not forgotten about you, the trans activist continued in the video. We would just be so much happier in life as the trans people would come together and murder a bunch of people. I think that really would solve all of our problems. Again, more unhinged, awful rhetoric. The social media account has since been deleted. Hopefully, this woman gets uh, a talking to by police or some federal authorities here um we have um sarah mcbride the con congress person elect uh, blasts republicans after this proposal right uh um, sarah mcbride that's what they go by says this is a blatant attempt from far right-wing extremists to distract from the fact that they have no real solutions to what americans are facing we should be focused on bringing down the cost of housing, health care, and child care, not manufacturing culture wars. Well, who's, who's in charge right now? It's the Democrats, and the Democrats, they're not doing anything. They're not choosing to solve the problems. It's kind of, that was kind of an issue with, with, with Kamala's presidential campaign, right? It was, you're in office, why aren't you doing that now? Yeah, so this whole... This is a distraction because they have no solutions. Well, they're not in office yet. Nancy Mace says playing make believe dress up doesn't mean you should be allowed in women's private spaces. Demo Democrat rep uh, Becca Ballant, um, she, she says that the, the point of this is cruelty and that a uh, big booty Latina AOC says this is. Um, it's not just bigotry. This is just plain bullying. Now, here on the screen, we have um, we have the resolution. We have we have the law here. Um, it's prohibiting members, officers, and employees of the house from using single sex facilities other than those corresponding to their biological sex and for other purposes. Whereas allowing biological males into sex, uh, single sex facilities such as restrooms, locker rooms, and changing rooms designed for women jeopardizes the safety and dignity of members, officers, and employees of the house who are female. Now, therefore, be it. What's that? That's two pages, really. You could probably get this all on one page. Section one. Prohibition on the use of single sex facilities other than those corresponding to the biological sex of an individual. 
member, delegate, resident, commissioner, or officer of employee of the House may not use a single sex facility, including a restroom, changing room, or locker room in the Capitol or House office buildings other than those corresponding to the biological sex of such individual. Enforcement. Well, the sergeant of arms will take care of that. I mean, that's pretty simple. If you have a penis, don't go in to the area where the, where the ladies with the vaginas go. Don't do it. And I suppose we're, we're going to wrap this up here. That, that's the news. That's the news. The, the crazy individual is doing threats, and it's pretty bad. But while we're wrapping it up, you might say, but Sean, why are we, why are we worried? Why are we worried if, if, if a trans person goes into a woman's bathroom? Can't, can't people just go pee where they feel best, where they need to pee? I mean, sure, wouldn't that be great? Except let's, let's think back to Loudoun County. You know, you know when that boy in the dress went into the girl's bathroom and then raped the, the girl? Yeah, and then there was a cover-up and, and the dad got mad at the, at the, at the school meeting or whatever. And uh, during the, it was a part of the cover-up. The police arrested him. And, and then that boy in a dress got moved to another school and then he like tried to rape another girl. Yeah, I mean, that's a good reason why, why we're doing this, right? Or how about if you look on screen here, we have um, a bunch, a plethora of examples within the last handful of years. Like this, this one down here, bottom row, second towards the end, Dakota Neves. In 2018, Dakota Neves advocated for a law giving trans women access to women's bathrooms and locker rooms. Hooray! 2018, an advocate. That's so great. Uh, well, in 2019, they, well, they succeeded. They got their law. Great, great advocating. Well, in 2019, um, this, this man who's pretending to be a woman raped two little girls under the age of four, filmed it, and sent it to an undercover FBI agent. And that this individual is now in a woman's prison. I bet they're doing rape there too. This one, in the middle of the top row, Hannah Tubbs, not in any way looking like a girl, not even trying, has, still has a fucking beard, for God's sake. Dragged a 10 year old girl by the throat into a stall in the woman's bathroom of a Denny's restaurant and then sexually assaulted her. Served time in a woman's prison. This Igor looking fucking thing here. Stephanie Green in 2018, they dragged a 15 year old girl into a woman's bathroom stall at a McDonald's and sexually assaulted them. And if that wasn't bad enough, then in uh, 2022, they sexually assaulted a woman while staying in a woman's shelter. Like all of, all of these people on screen, they've, they've done this. This weird looking person here, this Katie Delawatsky or whatever, convicted of sexually assaulting a 10 year old girl in the woman's bathroom of a grocery store served times in a woman's facility. This, they're all the same. When, when, when crazy, deranged, mentally ill men get to go into a space with vulnerable people, vulnerable women and girls, the, usually it's rape and murder and, and assault and, and all the worst things that we don't want our women and girls to go through. So is Nancy Mace this bitch who's, who, who's harming the trans people? No, I don't think so. They might think so because their, their ability to, you know, sneak into women's spaces gets, um, you know, curtailed a little bit. Now, it is entirely possible that, that uh, Congress person elect Sarah McBride is, is an upstanding citizen and would never do anything like that at all. But, I mean, they do have selfies of themselves uh, going into bathrooms that they're not supposed to be in, and they brag about it. They, 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 they seem to get some sort of gratification of it. It's, it is weird. I mean, whatever. Is this person a pedophile that's going to rape and diddle? Likely not. Especially probably not in, um, on Capitol Hill. But, you know. It's not unreasonable for, for a biological woman like Nancy Mace or any other congresswoman there to uh, feel uncomfortable. But anyways, that, that wraps up this story. So Venus penis, this thing here. Oh, Venus penis is, uh, is, is the one that made the horrific threats against J.K. Rowling and Nancy Mace. And hopefully the police get them to have a little conversation. Anyways. Um, Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share. Help me grow this channel. All of those things. And I guess be good. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.